Hi my chickens, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the ultimate bronze makeup tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing that I'm doing is starting off with my eyebrows. This is the MAC True Brunette Fluid Line. I love this for the brows. It's really moussey and it just makes it so easy to really shape the brows. So I'm just making an arch, making them super long and just defining them a little bit. The trick for really defined and sharp brows is taking a thick concealer on a small definer brush and just drawing a line straight underneath those brows to really clean it up and to make them look really sharp. I would definitely recommend this step. Then of course, just priming my eyelids with that same concealer. This will get rid of any veins and it'll make sure the eyeshadows really pop on top. Then of course, going in with a pressed powder just over the top of that primer so everything is set down in place. Now we can move on to the eyeshadow. So the first shade I'm taking is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. I'm using my old favorite eyeshadows. This one is going directly in the crease so we can start off the transition so all the other colors blend into this one really easily. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush from MAC. This is my favorite one ever. I will list it down below because you guys need to try it. The next shade I'm taking is Frappe and this one is going in the crease as well. The exact same place as I placed the other one except this is just going to make it a bit darker and I'm just starting from light and then making my way to darker so the colors just blend easier. Now I'm just picking up an even darker brown and this one's going directly in the socket so I'm using a really small fluffy brush and just working it from outer corner to inner corner so I can have more definition in there. And of course I always go back in with my blending brush to make sure there are no harsh lines at all. So as I said before, we're starting from lighter to darker shades. So now we're onto the darker shade. This one is Red Earth by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just went in that socket a little bit more to darken it just a touch. Now it's time for the lid color, so I'm going in with this beautiful shade by Makeup Geek and I'm really just going to pack this all the way over the lid. So I started off by using Fix Plus and a brush and then I went in with my finger to make sure it looked really foiled and chunky. It is such a beautiful color. Now for the face, I'm going in with the Nivea Post Shave Balm because this day I was going to a festival so I needed my makeup to stay on forever. And let me tell you, my makeup didn't budge at all. So now it's time for the foundation. I'm taking a really full coverage foundation, the Makeup Forever one. And I'm just gonna buff this into my skin with a really fat kabuki brush. This is the easiest way to apply thick foundations and it just looks so beautiful and airbrushed. I love this. It was a little bit too orange for my skin, but later on I made it work with bronzer and concealer and all of that good stuff. But I'm just gonna take a small paddle brush to go around my brows because since I did fill them in at the start, I don't wanna get any foundation in there and I want it to be nice and crisp still. And then for concealer, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. This one is really light. I didn't actually notice how light it was, but I guess we're going for that highlighted look today. I'm just putting this under my eyes and also just in the center of my face to really brighten it up a bit and just going in with a beauty blender to blend it all out. This is a really nice concealer. I think I just need to get something that is a little bit darker to match my fake tan. I did have to go in with a big kabuki brush and blend it out with a bit of foundation just because it was like stark. Anyways, to set that down, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just packing this directly under my eyes so we have no creasing. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just taking my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder and I just pack this on with a dense brush. The reason why I use this powder is because it is a little bit darker than the foundation that I was using, so I kind of wanted to change the undertones of it, make it a bit more brown than orange, which was like kind of what the foundation shade was doing, and it worked really well. And on top of that, this powder adds a little bit of extra coverage as well. Now I'm just going in with the Taylor Blue Light to Medium Contour Kit and picking up shade number two, which is a banana shade. And I'm using this to brush away all of that translucent powder, and then at the same time, I'm gonna highlight a little bit. Now taking the shade Frappe again, this one's going from the outer corner to the inner corner. So I took this on a fluffy pencil brush. I wanted it to be nice and smoky. Then going in with Red Earth by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I just focused this on the outer corner of my lower lash line just to really bring the eye look together and even it out a bit. 
Now for the highlighter, I'm taking this one from MAC and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with a really dense pencil brush and this honestly looks stunning when you hit the light. It just shines so bright. Then for mascara, I'm going in with this CoverGirl, the Super Sizer, just coating my top and bottom lashes so we can prep them for falsies. Now I'm just taking this white eyeliner from Stila and just lining my waterline to make my eyes appear a bit bigger. Then for falsies, I'm going in with these massive ones from Lily Lashes. They are so stunning and fluffy. So I'm just popping these on really close to my lash line and then pinching them together. Now it's time to contour it. So I'm taking shade number five and just putting this directly under my cheekbones to make them really defined. So I'm just using a tiny little angled brush and going in, honey, going in. Now it is time to go in with bronzer. So this one is from MAC. It's a new one that I just recently picked up, but because I have the worst memory in the world, I don't know what it's called, but I will leave it down below. So I'm just gonna bronze up my face with a massive brush, just going on my cheekbones and also around my forehead and under my jawline. This is such a pretty bronzer. I'm trying to find something to replace MAC Give Me Sun, but like, this one's not quite there, but it still is amazing. Now, of course, just going in and baking to clean up that bronzer that went down a little bit too far. Just gonna let that bake while I do my blush. Now I'm taking this blush from Makeup Geek. These blushes are so pigmented. I'm just putting this on the apples and blending it back. Then it's time to wipe off the bake. Oh my God, I picked up this new highlighter from MAC and it is Honestly, so stunning. This was the first time using it and I was blown out of the water. Such a pretty color. It's really different to all the other highlighters that I have, which is saying a lot because I honestly have so many highlighters. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do want to see a makeup collection though because I just cleaned out all my drawers and it's looking stunning at the moment. Okay, so let's move on to the lips. I'm taking this lip liner by Essence. It is such a pretty shade. It's like the perfect nudie pink. And of course, I'm gonna overdraw my lips just a tiny bit. Then for the lipstick, I'm taking this one from Stila. This was the first time using it. It was really drying on the lips and it took like a few swipes to actually get the color payoff that I wanted, but I always like to try different products. I like the color of it, but I would say the formula isn't the best, but it still is pretty good. Lastly, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, putting on about 20 pumps on my face, and then we are done. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload videos. I love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye.